for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the man. She's as always got a full breakdown for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be going over a scheme that I already put out part one and part two of on my channel this year. That's the Gun Split Close Niners. Uh, this is the full breakdown. This is probably close to 10 plays. I got pass plays, run plays, one play touchdowns, man beaters, zone beaters. Everything you need for an entire offense is going to be in this video. Now, this video used to be only available on my Patreon and my Join Now community tab, but I don't think they'll mind me putting it on here because I just dropped the entire Niners offensive breakdown, about a two and a half hour long video on those sites. So if you want to get the entire breakdown of this offense, and in my opinion, it's the best offensive playbook I've ever done. Check that out. Link in the description below. Other than that, the ebook should be out soon. Hopefully, it'll be out by the time I drop this video. If it is, it will also be linked in the description below. Like I said, to me, these are amazing books. Some of the best work I've ever done. So if you guys want to get your offense up, check that out. Other than that, this video here, like I said, it's pre-recorded. I already put out part one and part two, uh, and this is the full thing. So hope you guys enjoy it. I'll be back in a second to uh, break down the video. It is when I should look a little familiar if you follow my channel. It's the gun split close. This was one of my favorites last year. There's a lot of changes to it based off the fact that obviously the zones react very differently. So if you did use this formation last year and you want to use it again this year, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. There's also a new Split Close Pro, which has some really interesting plays, which I think ultimately can really mix in well. I'm not sure if I'm going to go into that formation today, but a play like the Shovel Option is a play that definitely would mix in really well. I like plays like that if you have a mobile quarterback. Now, a couple things you can do to make this formation even better. I, number one, always put in a... Uh, running back at the second uh, at the fullback spot um, for blocking maybe the fullback would be a better way to go but ultimately I find it's best to just put in your best running back I'm not really sure who that is I'm gonna guess it's uh, Trevor Sermon uh, as a rookie running back I'm not really sure but that's gonna be something that's important because this is a very good run formation there's a lot of plays in the gun like if you go through most uh, gun formations as I'm accidentally messing up the packages here if you go through most gun formations you really only have the choice of like an inside zone where this formation here you have a choice of a couple different things so let's go ahead and let's start off with the run plays and then we'll do some pass plays towards the end I'm gonna go to set my audibles I typically go one of my favorite and the power is already in the audible my favorite run by far is definitely the fullback inside which is another reason why you're gonna to want to make sure that you have an actual uh, running back there because most fullbacks aren't good enough to run that play then I typically just leave it alone i got the halfback wheel i got the paf slide these are going to be some of the better uh pass plays for any scenario i have a lot of one play touchdowns that are covered specific i'm not sure if i'm going to go over that in this video or if i'm just going to leave that uh for our next video or put that on my patreon or my join now community tab so let me know in the comment section or hit, me, hit the like button if you want to see that other than that let's go and let's pick the fullback inside to start on the defensive side we're just going to match we're going to hit random nickel so like i said one of the things i like about this uh as far as the run plays go is you have the option to go and either direction most plays you just have uh the the fullback here who's typically a running back doing an inside zone that's basically what this is it's an inside zone with a blocker which if you really wanted to you could put that if you run this play a lot you could put your fullback at uh, the spot that number 31's out there and then give yourself even better blocking but ultimately this is definitely the best run play this look here though doesn't necessarily look like the best look but you can see i still have success even if it's not going to be an explosive touchdown run which i'm hoping to get um, you're going to have a lot of success with it so right here now this one a little bit of a different look we have a cover three safety coming down in the box there i'm going to switch it over and go the other way go with the power oh that's the point of this formation when it comes to the run plays you can really go either way the bread and butter in my opinion is no doubt the halfback inside going in that direction but there will be a lot of times where you know you see a better opportunity just to take this uh sweep wide and you can see how we're just having nothing but success over here so like i said this is one of the one of my favorite formations to run out of and it's also got a lot of explosive one play touchdowns in the past game and when you run these plays you really want to think about um, you know, this is more of an inside run, but you really want to think about it more like they're looping wide runs. You know what I mean? Like you, you typically, you know, it's pretty obvious when it comes to the other play that's best to take the power outside, although a lot of times I try to take it inside. It's really, this right play is more of an outside read in, where the other play, the fullback inside is more of an inside read out. But there's going to be a lot of opportunities where it's best to just run it out wide like this and that's going to be really frustrating for your opponent especially if they're playing as a, a middle linebacker or user or whatever they're going to have a hard time keeping up or you know at least pre-diagnosing where the ball is going to go it's one of my favorite things about this running system is that you can't really tell where the ball is going to go 
at any given time because it could really go either way. You go left or right and your opponent's gonna have a hard time guessing which is gonna give you the advantage nine times out of 10. So there's a lot of dink and dunk pass plays that are really hard to stop. Let's go ahead and let's pick one of my favorites that I run a lot. Like I said, I was running it in the gameplay that I put out yesterday, the halfback slip screen. I'm just gonna go random defense because the next couple plays all pretty much work out against random defenses. So let's go ahead and let's pick random nickel again. This play here, I like plays like this where I don't really, I don't like to run screen plays where there isn't a good backup option. This play here has an excellent backup option, which means I'm not dependent on the screen play working out. That flat right there is a really good play. It's gonna have a lot of success. So I typically, I mean, I want the, the Y, you know, play to work, but you can see it's not guaranteed. A lot of times the blockers just mess up, or I mean, there, that was pretty good. I just didn't do a great job, but ultimately this is one of the, uh, the better plays that you can mix in. Like if you don't, like right there, they just got all, you know, messed up. So it's, it's something where you wanna try to pre-diagnose it if it's if you're looking at like a the only thing that really should cover the table route on the right side the rb route is a man coverage so as long as it's not a man coverage you just should know that that should be there all game and then you can just steal that all game and it's also a really good misdirection for your opponent once again you can play this two running back system to the point where your opponent's never really going to be able to get a beat on it they're never really going to be able to guess uh what play which way you're going and you can see like i said right here they're just going to be out of place all the time that's the thing about this formation i like so much there's really a lot of mind games you could play uh the next play is going to be the PAF slide. This is another play where it's all about the running backs once again, although realistically I'm reading RB uh, back. As you can see, we have like a level setup here. We have uh, the RB route and the B route and the A route are all going in one direction. I'm just going to basically go from front to back and take which one I think looks like it's going to be open because a lot of times it's going to be dependent on who the user covers anyway. So you really have to just kind of watch the user or watch the depth of the drops and see to see which one's open. A lot of times I'll also put this X route on a streak. You can motion him out a little bit because I really want to draw attention away as much as possible. So sometimes I'll do that, but it's really, this play here is really all about this RB route. I find this is one of the best catch and run options uh, in the game where you just can steal 10 yards over and over and over or more. Once again, I still have my, my I, I should have switched out my running backs um, so that I could have uh, the best running back where, where, you know, where I have, where I want them. But at the end of the day, you know, I'll, I'll probably just get diminished returns based off of that. Now, if it's a man coverage, you could see I also have, that's my man route. Anytime I see a man coverage, I'll go to the replay because I, I was talking a little bit fast. I, the, the table route or the underneath routes here will not beat man coverage. You can see right here, he's pretty much all over that. That's a pick six waiting to happen. This route above him is typically a really good man beater, although he did a pretty good job. Like I expected a little bit better, <laughs> better separation, but you can see that's your man beater right there. So anytime you see a man coverage, you're going to immediately want to switch your read over. It's pretty good coverage though. Like I said, that's probably, uh, I, don't even, I don't even know who that is, but he's doing a pretty good job. So we backed out real quick. We set our running backs up how we want them because like I said, this is really all about the catch and run after the fact. And you can see like if I have a, an elite speed guy, I'm going to be getting much better results. 15, 20 yards should be the minimum uh, when, when you set your depths or set your running backs uh, depth chart to what you want it to be. So like I said right here, anytime I have that, I typically want to wait till it gets out a little bit further. If you can see on the previous play, he didn't really follow much further. Sometimes I'll get it out a little bit early, but like I said, I, I still think it's best to motion this guy out a little bit. Just try to get that, that cornerback as far away from the line as possible. Here we have that man coverage once again. Like I said, I'll immediately switch over to that B route. He'll always be there against man. The running backs will always be the options against zone. And don't forget about that A route. I haven't really been looking that way because like I said, I'm just comfortable you know, just basically checking it down, catching and running. But that A route gets open against most things. As long as, like I said, the depth, the user is really the most important distinction. As you can see right here, like I said, if I low ball that, I'm low throwing it, hitting the left trigger, the L2 button if you're on PlayStation um, to get that low throw. In that scenario, I don't think motion in the uh, receiver route's a really good idea. But you can see, I mean, we're having a lot of success with that route too. So you have explosive plays in this play as well. Although the point of this video was a lot of small stuff um, that obviously Obviously, you want to make the bread and butter of your offense before you get to some of the explosive plays, which like I said, I will do in the next video. So if you guys want to see that tomorrow, I can put that out tomorrow. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section, I'll do that. It'll be my first uh, one play touchdown based uh, scheme. Um, and it's going to be a lot of it surrounding, you know, maybe one or two plays. So if you want to see that, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching Mad Money Shit Out. Welcome back, money team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the mad cheese as always. Got part two of my gun split club today i told you guys in the last video if you wanted to see some one play touchdowns out of this formation you're looking at on the screen hit the like button let me know in the comment section you guys did that so as always if you guys want to see more stuff out of the niners which is at the moment my favorite playbook 
same thing. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section as always, and I will continue to do Niners. I plan on doing um, as much Niners content as possible before I put out my ebook from them because I do plan on putting out them as my first ebook, hopefully in a couple of days, um, if not a little bit longer. But ultimately, this is my one of my favorite formations from last year, and it's gonna be one of my favorite formations going forward this year. I already put out a four play scheme. I'll put a link in the description below if you guys wanna check that out. But for now, I'm really gonna focus on some explosive plays, some one play touchdowns that obviously everybody needs. Um, in the new game. Now, the number one play that I didn't go over in the first video that I really wanted to was the halfback wheel. This is a very explosive uh, play. It has a lot of different one play touchdowns you can create out of it. Um, that's going to be one of the first plays I show. And then I also have a lot of really good uh, plays to work along with it. So let's go and let's pick the halfback wheel. I said in the first video to make sure that, you know, to, to sub put your substitutes to where the point where you really have your best running backs at these two running back spots because you typically have a fullback. So just make sure you have running backs. Your best running backs should typically be at the actual fullback spot. That's where I want my, um, you know, the majority of my plays are going to go, but that doesn't really matter. So ultimately, let's go ahead and let's set up the, uh, the play halfback wheel. On the defensive side, we're going to start off with cover two and then work our way back because that's typically what I want to do. I want to show how each play can beat each individual um, defense. So we're going to pick Tampa 2 to start. So this first play, I mean, you know, this is a really good play. You can run this against just about anything. You can see this Y route's gonna get open in the flat. The flats are always gonna be there. There's a lot of really good dink and dunk check downs. Even the uh, the B route, which is crossing over. Like, this is a really good play. There's not a lot of, um, you know, adjustments needed if you're just going to run this play as is. It's a good ding and dunk play just like the first video I put out. But if you put the B route on a streak, there's a couple things you can do to make this a very successful one play touchdown against a lot of defenses. Against cover two, just streak that B route. And I find number one, the RB route is going to be a really good option again because it's going to pull that cornerback back. But ultimately, the real plan here is the big play, which is going to be the A route. This is a simple cover two concept. You can do this out of a lot of different things. And then you can see how I'm just basically dotting up that coverage over there. So lots of things you can do there. You can motion the running back as well sometimes i do that if i'm trying to pull that cornerback down for the b route so this will actually um you know it's good something that'll uh, confuse your opponent a little bit but you can see i mean it just it just helps to create separation so it's something that you can do i would make a habit of motioning out this receiver who i put in george kittle because the niners don't have a good third receiver but i would get in the habit of motioning him out because it's going to be important when it comes to some of the cover three one play touchdowns let's go and let's move on to the cover three one play touchdown against cover three this is a good play uh just to work these flats i mean that's pretty much going to be your best option against cover three you can see he's you know the the coverage just plays back to the point where he's 10 yards down the field before there's even anybody in the area so just anytime somebody's playing cover three cover four just work the flats so against cover three i just want to make sure that i run this from a hash mark to the open side of the field that's going to be the most important thing uh, because you need to really you know create a lot of space so i'm going to run this from the left hash mark to the open side of the field on the right motion out you know this running back here just to motion that safety across that just brings the safety over into a little bit of a better area then i'm going to basically just streak the b route and streak the x route that's all i really have to do and then this is going to be the play and then you're going to see that i can pretty much just bomb this up right between a giant cover three seam that's how you beat cover three you have to essentially create a much wider field and this is going to be consistent if i were to start this play from the center of the field or you know any other area it's really not going to work you have to start from a hash mark whether it's going to be the left or the right you can start from the right hash mark and just make sure you run the play to the left side it doesn't really matter but ultimately um, the way that man is right now before they patch it these uh this is how you create separation of the cover three seam now i have um you know the streak here is just basically meant to pull this uh safety to the left as much as possible just leave him in that area because that cornerback has to react react you see the cornerback slows down he's covered him then he has to react to the underneath routes and that's when the safety up top takes over i'm watching for that safety to do that because that's when i throw the ball because he's got his back turned he won't be able to flip his hips in time to make a play on the other receiver going right up the middle and then you can see if we go back to me here i'm basically just waiting for that guy to turn so that i can basically load up and like i said the reaction time if you have like an elite speed safety out here maybe he makes a play although honestly i think buddha baker is that buddha baker yeah he's the second best safety in the game so if he can't make a play on it especially since i only have a like a I don't even think Brandon Ayuk is a 80 overall so if he can't make a play on this ball in the air you know most safeties won't be able to you can see it just comes right up the middle so we're going to do that again the only thing about this is like I'm going against JJ Watt I'm going to double team JJ Watt so if you don't know how to do that 
that's not something you need to know for this video but if you're going against a superstar like this you're definitely going to have to do that so here we go once again it said i'm getting hit I'm getting hit and you can see it's still a big play but there's a huge scene to be had we're gonna do that one more time like i said i gotta make sure that i double team jj and i'm sliding my protection all that you know what i'm saying i got the fullback over there I got everybody trying to take take up some uh, some JJ Watt room, and then, like I said, you can see it's really easy. It's not a huge separation, but it's enough that you can score easy one play touchdowns against cover three. Now this play will beat both cover fours. There's two different types of cover fours: there's cover four cores, which is like a cover four matching principle, and then there's cover four drop. This will beat both, but it'll do it in different ways. So we'll start off with cover four drop. So what I'm going to do is I'm like I said, max pro, motion this guy out. Put this A on a drag, put this B route on a smoke, and that's all she wrote. So you're basically just going to be buying time. Hopefully JJ Watt didn't double team him, so hopefully he can handle it. And now you can see once this guy gets inside that first safety, even though there's a superstar safety back there, he's not going to make that play. Now I didn't really time that very well, but that's okay. The result is the same, and I don't really have like the fastest receivers or nothing either. So um, like I said, you're basically just watching this guy. Once he gets inside of this safety. If I go back to the other safety, I mean, it's just, it's just a bullet and pass lead away from the free safety. So if you go back to this other safety, these guys here, because of these routes are so short, they typically just don't react. They just they just stay down. The way that the Madden defenses typically handle these type of plays is they split the field in half when it comes to the AI. So you can see these guys here are just, they just stay depressed because they, that's their responsibility. It's the right half of the field. And then by the time this guy crosses into the right half, you can see that's when this guy starts to react. The second he gets closer, he reacts, but it's too late because the depths are just too different. Now, I mean, I can only imagine if I had a more explosive or a speedier receiver than this guy. You can see there's nothing but space. So it's really all about placement at that point. Bullet, pass leading away. The ball, for, for me, is already in the air. So like I said, the second I see that guy cross inside that safety, you can see I'm already loading up, and boom, we're hitting a one-play touchdown. A very easy one-play touchdown against any cover four. I do find it helps to roll in the direction of the throw. Um, which you typically, um, you know, it, it, you might not always be able to do, but it definitely, it definitely helps because the defenders stay home a little bit better when you're, when they feel you're in the area. So just remember that I didn't get the roll into the throw there, but I got the step up into the pocket and shorten the throw, um, which is going to be important when it comes to completing this pass. As you can see, just, just stepping up or just being, you know, in danger. It makes the safeties just play it a little bit differently. That's the best way I can describe it. So that's your play for cover two, cover three, cover four, the halfback wheel, very good play. There's a lot of really good man beating plays and cover three specific plays as well. One of the best ones that actually has a man beater and a cover three play in one is the Z spot. Now we'll go and we'll pick that. Like I said, we'll start off with cover three because it's very similar to the first cover three play that I showed. Pretty much a similar setup. Go ahead and we'll motion this across here. We gotta run it from the sideline. So like I said, same thing. Pretty much have to do the exact same thing. I like the motion I'm running running backs, put them on a streak, but it's pretty much gonna be the same deal. I gotta remember to put my man JJ on a double um, because he will be a problem if I don't, and I will block that fullback slide of protection, all that stuff. We gotta make sure that we keep that guy in check, but this is pretty much gonna be the play, and then the B route is going to have success once again, right up the seam, very big uh, lane, and I probably would've been going from anywhere on the field because you can see how much separation that creates. Now, we'll go to the replay. It's a very similar concept to what I just showed, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it, but you can see how you know these two routes over here will keep that safety busy uh, and more to the side. I think this is actually probably a better cover through one play touch down than the halfback wheel. The halfback wheel just has a lot of different looks that you can use against a lot of different defenses. This one here, you got a very good specific cover through one play touchdown that's probably better than the first play and also has a very good specific cover one one play touchdown which we'll back out and show we haven't really touched on any man coverages yet i don't really find man coverages are great but this is a great cover one one play touchdown so we're going to pick cover one robber this play here i'm actually going to move back further because to beat man you typically want to float the ball to beat zone you typically want to bullet it so on this particular play i'm going to move back because i have a feeling that i'm going to be chucking this ball up as long as possible the x route here is pretty much the guy you can see he doesn't get a ton of separation maybe because i don't have a great receiver but you can see he gets past the man coverage which is the important part we'll go to the replay i did make one quick adjustment i did smart route this guy um, you could also motion him out which i've been doing a lot but ultimately you can see how from the inside position he just gets a very good inside release and then if i had a better speed advantage i'm not really sure who he's facing uh is that dark boys denard i don't even know if he's still in the league but you can see he gets behind which is all that really matters and then i had to safe catch it because i want to make sure that i caught it but if you have a real receiver a real advantage out here he's just going to be absolutely gone 
Um, I didn't mention too, it's also best to put the B route on a streak, uh, but that's pretty much the look. I mean, this this left side, man beater, right side, cover three beater, although obviously it's a slightly different setup. Um, like I said, I like to smart route this guy. I find that that really makes the most uh, difference, but you don't necessarily have to. And then you can see once again, he's just getting right at that seam there. Doesn't beat him. So like I said, it's a little 50-50. You wanna make sure that you actually see he gets past the cornerback before you make that throw. But uh, you know, it's that's pretty much all there is to it. So I guess right there, that's a good release. You can see there, he just completely smoked them. And then I get a bad throw, but it was gone. So <laughs> see what I mean? that's the bottom line. Let's take a look at the replay on that one, since that one looked a lot better. But you can see the uh, the difference as far as the, the animation. Like that's that's the release you want. If you see him behind him, lob it up. I lobbed it up. I don't know if there was pressure or what, or Jimmy G just is terrible, but you can see that he should have been a home run. It should have been an easy one play touchdown. Get a you know a better quarterback. That's probably the, the best way to make this a completion. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. There's still a lot of plays that are gonna be a part of the full scheme on my Patreon community and on my join now community tab right now. Links in the description below if you guys wanna check those out. But if you wanna see the full video on YouTube, Sometimes on the weekend, I put out like these full 20 minute breakdowns. I can do that with this. Just hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see that. But I will, it will be on my exclusive sites for a little while. But uh, without a doubt, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Moist it out. So, another really good man play is the slot curl. This is something that really only has success against man cover one. I find that against man cover two, uh, it really seems to struggle. But basically, you're just waiting for this guy to get outside of the cornerback and then you bullet, pass, lead away. And you can steal that pretty much all game. If you throw it too early, it's going to be a problem. If you throw it too late, it's going to be a problem. But if you throw it on timing, you can have success with that uh, over and over and over. It's a very repetitive and easy play to run. You also want to try to run it from the open side of the field because you want to have as much room as possible to the sideline. That's kind of what I meant by if you throw it too late. If you throw it too late, you can see this cornerback here, he basically catches back up and he, he hems you into the sideline because the receiver has to slow down. If you throw it too early, you're going to have the exact same effect where the cornerback's you know, going to either jump in front of it or you know whatever but if you throw this route in timing it's in the programming it's going to beat it you can see right there i mean i don't know why he's not catching the ball but you can see he had the same outside separation we'll do it one more time just to show it's hard once you start messing it up then you start messing it up but you can see that you know it's easy easy pitch and catch there's a really good cover two man place it's never really gone over cover two man um, i like the wide receiver corner when it comes to cover two man this is one of my favorite ones here we'll go and pick that and we'll go straight to cover two man this play here, I mean, it's it's really just all about the X route. If you just put this on a bullet pass, you're going to beat that in every time because he's inside the cornerback. This is a scheme that I've been using since last year. It's super dirty. Like I said, hold the left trigger, hold the L2 button, whatever, throw that ball low. Some maybe pass lead a little bit in front. I'm not really getting that pass lead, but you can see the cornerback starts on the outside. He doesn't really have inside position. That's the, that's the reason that this play works. And that's why you can just steal that over and over and over again. So if your opponent comes out in a lot of cover twos, you got that, you know, you got that beat. You also should have success with the B route, uh, just as long as you throw it on timing once again. So you have two really good cover two man routes. So if you have an opponent running a lot of cover two man, they should really have a lot of success. Another really good um, man play out of this is the uh, the fullback trail that's you know you're really once again you're really focusing on one particular route um, but it's another good option so I, i'll go to pick cover to man one more time here wherever that's at um, but the fullback the way that he comes back inside number one the drags could play but the way that the fullback comes back across typically is going to get open and users will not be expecting it they will be gone by the time that play comes in that's the point of it being a trail play is you have all these um you know all these crossing routes already pulling the coverage away although there i just kind of threw it to the fullback without even thinking realistically uh the drag was wide open there that's why they call it a, a trail because the drag is supposed to clear the way and then obviously if it doesn't you got that fullback coming across as well now i find the timing is a little bit off this year i just noticed that so if you want to motion this guy to the line you'll probably have more success as far as the timing because he'll get out further and then he'll cut across the running back's face and it'll be or the the linebacker's face whoever's in coverage and it'll be an even better play so another really good man option you have your drag and you have your running back those two things will probably be the best i mean even the a route probably has success i'm not really looking its way uh, but you can see i mean they're all beating man and you'll also have success against zone those two routes 
lost the the dragon that the the in route the ten yard in also had success against um, you know obviously against some uh, some regular zones you just have to basically watch the high low so that's it that's the vid if you guys want to see more videos like this do me a favor hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below Thank you.